All right, everybody, total change of pace today. Today I am going to read to you one of my absolutely most favorite books. You're like, oh my goodness, how long is this video going to be? It's actually a very, very short book and very brief history. I had just started my one of my dream, dream jobs that I've had in my career. I just started with ERA Brokers Consolidated. Um, it was March of 2016 and I did not have a ton of money yet. I was in the process of building this amazing branch and this amazing brand in Salt Lake City, and I had the wonderful opportunity to go to Disney World for my first international business conference for ERA. And I used the last of my extra money to buy myself an all-day, two-day, park hopper pass to go to Disney World. And I had to really pinch my pennies when it came to my food and my souvenirs, which is not a position that I like to be in now. But I remember what it was like to not, to really appreciate that, that ticket and to be able to go. It was the first time I had ever been to Magic Kingdom in Orlando in my entire life. And I went by myself. And it was, it was a magical experience. And here I am on the precipice of this new career, so, so excited. And I did not have a lot of money when I was in a one of the many souvenir shops. I love to shop in Disney parks. I know that comes as a tremendous shock to you. But I saw this little book and I've never, ever seen it again. So I, I don't know how many of you have seen it and I love it so much that I wanted to share the whole thing with you. So allow me to take you on a little journey. It's called Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. You ready? Here we go. I wanna make sure you can see the pictures. Does your life seem more ho-hum than hi-ho? Perhaps you've been feeling lethargic for what seems like a 100 years. Or you're unsure of your direction in life. Maybe you're not thrilled with what the mirror's been telling you lately. Perhaps you're a bit lonely, or you're thinking that your true love should have found you by now. Don't panic. All you need is a little magic in your life. The good news is that having a genie or a fairy godmother is optional. Because magic is all around us. Think back to when you heard stories of fairies and pirates and far off places of wizards and castles and wishes coming true. That was my favorite growing up with Cinderella. Or when you dreamed of true love and happily ever after and anything seemed possible. Hold those dreams close. They can still come true. This is my favorite. Magic is something we can make ourselves. Start with a friend, a true blue friend, and music and dancing, perhaps a little romancing, a star to wish on, and hope in your heart. Life isn't always fair, and mean girls and bullies seem to be everywhere. Don't despair. Just keep swimming. Eventually, you'll come up into the sunshine. With hope in your heart, you can swim with the sharks or whales. You can tap into your inner warrior to do what's right. But, where, but there would be no magic without your love and its power. Love can bloom in the most desolate places. It gives us courage. It overcomes evil. So keep your heart, oh, don't wanna skip a page. And it endures because love is stronger than hate. So keep your heart open and look for the beauty in others. New friends are waiting in the wings for you, ready to share wonderful times, for there's no one quite like you and what you bring to the picture. We're all born with certain gifts and talents. So use what you've got, show your moxie, and take your place at the ball. It wouldn't be as exciting without you. The world needs your own particular magic. Claim your rightful place in the world. Your destiny awaits. Life really is a journey and a gift. 
and it's a super califragilistic new day. Jump in and see what's waiting for you on the other side. The world is full of magical places. Be curious. Be an explorer. Warning, your journey may take you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> it will. Do it anyway. Look up and listen. And watch for doors that are opening for you. Are you ready to make your own magic? It's up to you. Soon you'll see your dreams coming true. I want to go back to this page right here. All of this hit me so hard that day as I used my last $25 to buy myself a spaghetti dinner at the little restaurant called Tony's at Magic Kingdom in Orlando, patterned after uh, Lady and the Tramp. And as I read this book, are you ready to make your own magic? So many of these pages hit me really, really hard. I had not recruited a single agent yet, except for my own husband, but ultimately, he wound up being the most important after recruiting myself. I had to believe in the power of my team and what I was about to embark on. And what I embarked on wound up being one of the most amazing and magical journeys of my entire career. I wound up recruiting 40 agents in a period of nine months. And we called that team of 40 agents, Team Awesome. But before any of that could happen, I had to have the spark lit in my own heart to believe that that magic was possible. And it was this little book that I think I spent $9.99 on, it says right here, to light that spark for me. I hope that this little book has lit a spark for you, that you can believe in the power of lighting your own fire and being your own magic and creating whatever magic looks like for you.